আপনি মিউট হয়ে আছে স্যার আনমিউট করো এটা গুড মর্নিং দিলু মর্নিং মর্নিং হাই স্যার এটা গুড মর্নিং স্যার গুড মর্নিং গুড মর্নিং আমার স্পিকার জয়েন করেছে অরুণজ্যোতি বৰগোহাই স্যার হ্যাঁ থ্যাংক ইউ ওয়েলকাম থ্যাংক ইউ স্যার students are still joining we will start in next one or two minutes i request the students to inform their friends to join as soon as possible apuni dial kara number to sir shall we start yes i think uh, why to wait already 44 yes, have joined yes yes total 44 dr, dr. minal will coordinate the session he will be starting now okay well, very good morning to all today we are here for the impact lecture series 2022 session 2 which is organized by institute of innovation council of don bosco college of engineering and technology in for so in collaboration with ministry of education innovation cell aict today there will be two lecture in the session first lecture will be delivered by mr arunjyoti borgoin who is director and co-founder of yantra uh, technology private limited and second lecture will be delivered by mr manish pratim pathak who is faculty come entrepreneurship development cell coordinator tool room and training center guwahati msme now i would like to invite our director sir professor Man manoranjan kalita for giving his welcome speech over to you sir uh good morning to uh, everyone who have joined this very important impact lecture second session meeting special um, welcome to our honorable guest the speaker arunjati borgohai uh i just want to set the tone to the participants that uh, why it is important just one two sentence i want to tell on that we all know that for decent living everybody needs a decent earning and which must be earned through a decent job so all these things should should be decent but decent earning is necessary for decent living after completion of studies maybe degree maybe post graduation maybe graduation or maybe any somebody may end in the high school level also but after completion of the studies because of whatsoever reason to move on in life everybody needs a job if job is not there the person turns out to be an unemployed if it is a young person then it is an unemployed youth and that number is increasing in the country on a daily basis even in only within assam it is now around 30 lakhs of un unemployed youths after this new government uh, uh, under the leadership of um, um, narendra modi ji they have really brought in or given high impetus on few things in his first uh, lecture independent day lecture itself he coined in make in india he put lot of trust on that he 
took at least one or two minutes on that aspect, making India, skilling India. And following that lecture from 1914 onwards, actually, um, although there was some concept or conceptually things were on under any sphere, some skill development came up, people were taking interest at institutional level. But even then policy was there that much uh, practical impetus was not there. But now government and realized, realized that government cannot give uh, jobs to all the youths. So this is the only way that our youths, youths include our faculty and stu students also, become job creator. So for the government has taken conscious effort under the Ministry of Education, because we have to motivate the youth means through the Department of Education. So Ministry of Education has taken lead to constitute Institution Innovation Council in 2018 and asked for all the institutions under AICT to become member of that council, Institution Innovation Council, so that the whole nation can revolutionize in the innovation part because there is a distinct step, no? For innovation means something new has to be there for that some research is necessary. Without research, new thing cannot be found out or uh, identified. So research is the first step followed by innovation. Once something is innovated, then that has to, the right has to be protected. So IPR, intellectual protection of right, uh, property right. After that, the youth can go for startup you know, to, to test that that can be practiced, the prototype can be developed and then it can be really laid, um, made into a real venture in terms of service or in terms of product, no problem. After that is tested, maybe in an incubation center, anywhere, wherever it is available, the youth or person can go for entrepreneurship. That is, he can lead his life on his own. He can establish his establishment and he can start earning his own livelihood. Also, at the same time, he can give livelihood to a number of persons. This is more or less the sequence and the, and the motive of the government also. And that is why we, as Don Bosco College of Engineering and Technology, being an approved institute of AICT, also formed an IIC for our institution. And we, our, we have been doing some activities under that. We even got um, uh, four star last year by virtue of our activities. But activities are never sufficient. So it has to go on every year. Uh, so as part of this yearly activities to constantly motivate this impact series lecture has been coined in by AICT. AICT is supporting. And our leaders under leadership of Ujjal Sarma and Ankur Gusami and uh, Arup Barwa, there are a number of persons from every department. Now Mrinal also has come, Mrinal Sen. They are also organizing this impact lecture series, this two-day series. On 31st of May, one session is done, and today is the second session. On what I have seen, both the topics that will be delivered today are so important. The first topic is, uh, let me check, uh, entrepreneurship, growth, and competitiveness. Uh, Mr. Orunjuti Borgwai will deliver on that. He is he will definitely speak from his own experience because he is co-founder of a robotics and automation company. So his experience is very very valuable. I am sure, and our students should ask question if they are also interested in doing something. Ask question to clarify how to go and how to get inspiration from his experience. So that. Uh, that is that must be uh, opportunity must be taken by our our faculty and staff who have joined and the, uh, following this first lecture the second lecture will be from the msme tool room center the faculty come entrepreneurship development cell coordinator mr manos protim patak 
and he will be speaking on innovation in small and medium sized enterprises and he will focus on that is the most important thing focus on various step to start an enterprise and competitive advantage of the small business means every it is it may not be very difficult to think of very big business right from the day one we have to start from small then we have to go ahead to become big and big and bigger than biggest so that should be the step so that lecture will also give enough of uh, input enough of uh, information and motivation to all our uh, participants i hope this today's impact lecture will have great impetus and great impact real impact on our participants and some of these students will get really motivated to take up entrepreneurship innovation uh, for entrepreneurship they have to go for research innovation ipr and startup these phases they will be able they will be mentally prepared to face those series and i wish all uh, all the best to the speakers and the participants and hope it will really have a great impact on all thank you thank you very much i conclude my speech thank you very much sir for the speech before the start i would like to introduce our first speaker mr aranjyoti borgohai he completed bachelor of engineering in 2011 in mechanical engineer from assam engineering college he worked as an associate project engineer in the department of electronics and information technology iit guwahati from 2012 to 2015 he also worked as an assistant project engineer in the department in the design innovation center iit guwahati from 2016 to 2017 now he is director and co-founder of yantra board technologies private limited the main objective of this company is to like engaged in the business of developing product providing service in the field of automation technology and enable application in different field including educational commercial research and also in the field of robotics robot building fabrication artificial intelligence then computer software firmware development related to automated system and other robots both in india as well as overseas Now I like to invite our first speaker, Mr. Arun Jyoti Borgwai, for the presentation. Over to you, sir. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for this uh, lovely introduction. <laughs> and also, I would like to also thank the organizing committee for uh, giving me this opportunity to have some interaction with you and share my experience with you all. Uh, as uh, uh, Minal has said. much thing about me so uh, let me start with uh, uh, my company the introduction of my company how it started so uh, before starting my presentation just uh, i would like to introduce my company uh, my company is first in, uh, incorporated in 2016 so before that i was uh, as a project i was working in my degree as a project engineer so in while working as a project engineer i uh, got chance to interact with many uh, scientists from central government and also some uh, renowned innovators so uh, uh, the inspiration i got from them so i got to see means how if i go in the uh, entrepreneurship of innovation direction where it lead me so those type of uh, inspiration i got and that motivated me to uh, work in this field so i also got one partner who is from electronics department uh, electronic no he is from electrical background he is uh, also my uh, classmate he is uh, in 2011 he was passed out so he was working in some uh, other company so when we discuss about means our plan so he left that job and came to join uh, with me as a project engineer in uh, iit so after that in 2016 we started our company so as a private limited company only we have started at the time so in 2017 uh, we have uh, gone for incubation in iit guwahati so from there uh, in 2020 no in 2021 so our uh, incubation period was uh, finished then after that uh, we are like self sustaining now so we are say we have received some funding also from that we are developing our own products 
and I will I would like to show you some of the products which we have we have been developing since uh, 2016. So let me share my screen. Okay, I uh, hope my screen is visible. I mean, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's full, it's full screen, no? Okay. Fine. It's invisible. Uh, so uh, today I'll be mainly uh, focusing on entrepreneurship growth and challenges. Uh, the competitiveness, uh, these all topics are very, uh, you can say it is a vast course. So in entrepreneurship, lots of, lots of divisions are there and uh, definitions, lots of definitions are there, but uh, I will try to concise my uh, topics and mostly what I, what experience I am having uh, since I coming to this field. So those I will be highlighting mainly. So these are the some products which we have developed uh, as a private limited company. So here in the first, uh, I mean, can you see my cursor moving? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can yeah. see. OK. So uh, just in short, I'm, uh, I want to show you. So you can see this picture. So this was the first picture or 3D model you can say which was uh, which we have received. So like uh, I can I will show you uh, what our company what thing we are receiving and how these things are converting into product. So all all step I will try to cover. So you can see this is the first step which uh, we have received. So after that we have uh, we used to make the 3D model of the exact thing which we will be manufacturing. So once the, we get the approval from the customer, so we used to manufacture like that and do the testings and those things we try to cover. So these are some of the molding setups which is made from stainless steel as per the requirement of the customer. So this is a small tabletop machine which is used to find the coefficient of friction. Okay instant coefficient of friction between two materials. So this is the customized machine which is not available in the market. So as per the requirement of the customer, we have uh, developed this machine. So these are some small educational purpose support and this is a snap of our some, uh, training programs, hands-on training of the electronic component sensor, motor control, then how to do the soldering, then electronics related, then small, small mechanical uh, tools and equipment you use those type of small hands-on training also we used to provide. So this is a civil department related project. So this is uh, our, I think um, um, will be understanding and civil department people will understand more the permeability, permeability of the concrete. So this is this means is used to measure that uh, permeability of the concrete. So in 2020 and 2021, this is the actual robot we have developed for the purpose of uh, COVID. So is a small first prototype which is developed in 14 days during the first wave in the April month of April and May we have developed that remote control robot uh, because the requirement was from uh, GMC. They said the builder robots uh, that we can uh, remotely provide food to the isolation ward because uh, at the time the PPE kit, we're wearing the PPE kit and going to uh, multiple time to uh, the patients for uh, providing the food. It was very tedious task. So they, there was that was the requirement. So uh, we had very uh, few raw materials and it, it was the, at the time it was a full lockdown. So at the time with the material we had with us from that we have developed a small prototype. This is the first person. Okay, we have given a name robot. This is a COVID patient assistant robot. So this is the first year was without camera. The second prototype we have developed, it was having camera. So in areas where uh, you cannot see, because there are two, two types of areas. One is having glass. So if it is not having glass and if the room is uh, away from the entrance, so in those areas to navigate in those areas with a mobile phone in the like uh, playing games, you can operate this machine. So it was having two cameras in one was the top and one was the bottom. So the bottom was heavy giving that uh, pass within the mobile skin you can see where it is moving and from the top camera you can see the activities if the patient has taken the food or not if the door is closed so and also if somebody is coming in front you can apply break those type of facilities are there 
then after that we have received two order from uh, dibugor medical college so uh, actually the product was sponsored by rotary club of dibugor so they wanted two robots and with the higher capacity so this robot we have developed and uh, in january uh, the mr our ex cm sir sabarno sunwal sir has uh, inaugurated and uh, donated uh, those machine to uh, dibugor university uh, sorry sorry uh, dibugor medical college so is the principal who is receiving that uh, uh, robots so these were the, our major achievement in 2021 so after that we are engaging in uh, lots of other projects also uh, so in short uh, in i will also uh, try to more uh, show you more products in the later slides so let at first uh, let me start with what type of uh, what is the current scenario in uh, entrepreneurship innovation and what we are uh, coming through those thing i want to highlight so here i am uh, showing a headline giving a headline with the gap between academic and industry. So you can see uh, I am putting this logo and bridge because we are trying to make a bridge between this academic section, the innovator and scholars and the industries because see in industries. Uh, these are some points which are uh, major points which are. Uh, as you can say the expectation from the industry like when you are approaching when we are approaching an industry they Directly they will need. Do you have a technical drawing? So if you are not having the technical drawing, automatically their interest drops to like 20 or 30 percent. Their interest becomes total. So uh, they will be asking. So and apart from that uh, 3D model, like catalogs, then part drawing, then payment terms, then assembly drawing. These are some of the requirement of the expert. But in reality, when uh, clients are approaching us or some industries. Generally, most of the clients are coming with normal hand sketch, so it is normal the hand sketch, but uh, I will tell you how to prepare that uh, hand sketch and so that your uh, the industry whom you are approaching, they do not get uh, demoralized or not willing to help you. Those type of scenarios should not happen. So for that, uh, I will give you some tips. Like uh, these are external. So poor survey, poor survey. I mean to say, uh, if somebody is coming. Directly they're saying I need this part. If we cross question is there in which material you want to you are either you want to make it in material aluminium or steel or uh, stainless steel. So those type of information sometimes they are saying, okay, I have not uh, thought about that. So like that mean numbers of uh, meeting increases. So once the number of meeting increases, ultimately the total project cost also increases. So if uh, the interaction could be limited to one or two meetings, then it is profitable for the industry also as well as the customer also. Then missing dimensions, missing dimensions. You see, this is a actual picture of one drawing what we have received when we went project. This project was completed. So you can see here one value was overlapped with this dimension. So if this type of thing happen, then we have to ask multiple times for the correction of the drawing. So it takes lots of time. Uh, ultimately, uh, we do not have any other option to uh, means uh, not have any other other option uh, imposing that uh, consultancy fees. So if you want to avoid the consultancy fees, some points like this type of errors has to be avoided. Okay, missing dimension, then this overlay dimension. Missing dimension is okay. This picture can come. So, like you can see a small area there that the length, length of the this uh, uh, length of the link was missing. Then also the some holes are basically if the drawing is given in parts instead of making dimension in uh, whole assembly. So if we make the small small uh, all drawing of all parts then there is a chance of uh, means missing dimension this can be avoided okay? then no part drawing so these are the errors what we are generally come across and these are the expectations for the industry okay uh, see uh, as we are basically building prototypes uh, at present 
so uh, I want to highlight some example from those uh, drawings. You can see these are common errors. If you were if we want to make this type of complicated part, although the part may not be complicated, this can be simply make like that and we, if you can round the shapes, if that uh, means if the requirement if the arc of this uh, part are not that important. So if we give this a simple and later on, we if we can uh, modify ourselves these arcs, then then at that way the lots of cost can be minimized. You can see this part is being this much dimension. So seeing this much dimension directly, the industry will ask for that. Uh, this if you are if you want to make exactly like this, this system will directly go to CNC machining. And if you uh, apart from the conventional machining, if the thing is going to CNC machining, the cost mal it becomes uh, the cost of products uh, that the manufacturing that product becomes four times, five times like that. So if the dimensions are not that important. So just mention the crucial dimensions. Then automatically the initial impact will be like, OK, this project will not be that much high cost. So small cost the project. So it, it can be categorized like that. You can see uh, this is a motor. This is having the hole in the front panel. But when our client design, they have placed the motor in this split. So actually, the uh, thing has to be designed like it has to put some holes here and motor has to be in fixed with this split. OK, so as these things errors are coming, so automatically we are taking time and extra money. To uh, correct these errors instead of if we are asking, OK, uh, this error is there, so modify it again, it will take time. So those time ultimately we have to consider because uh, when you are in innovation and entrepreneurship, the most crucial thing is time. So if you are good in managing time, you will excel in this field. Otherwise, uh, it is very risky field actually. See, you can you can see this picture also. This is one example. This is one example. So this is how we used to uh, tell them that this motor has to install in this way. So do the correction and send the drink. So this type of errors are coming. So expectation see in the expectation field, I have given some example of the part drawing. In the part drawing, if you give you have to give the front view, side view or isometric view, how the object will look like, what are the dimensions of the hole, uh, diameter of the hole, how the hole will be apart, and what is the thickness of the plate. This type of dimension has to be given. This is, you cannot say, uh, this is the uh, means uh, complete technical doing. If you are going deeper in the mechanical, if you are going more deeper, you can you will be able to know there is uh, more uh, numbers of uh, information has to be given. But I, from our end, this much is enough. If you get this type of drawing, it is enough for do the manufacturing. Uh, ultimately, what happens? Your time will be also save, then our time also. Saving. So you can see uh, this is the front view, side view of this part, then exploded view. Uh, uh, here I also want to say that uh, don't get uh, confused. Like uh, uh, if you are from electrical field, electronics field. So we don't know how to make this type of drawing, then how we can do it. So it's no problem. If you are not uh, familiar with uh, making this table, make friendship with, make partnership with the person who knows this type of drawing. So or you can do the consultancy or in uh, we we are receiving also some clients who who want just doing they when they want their hand sketch to technical doing such that they can go for patent filing or go for funding or uh, means manufacturing. So that help also we used to provide. So initially our uh, aim and objective was not there, but uh, when after uh, multiple doing multiple projects, we realize that uh, there is a requirement of uh, just help to the innovators. So we are uh, providing that services also. So, uh, so today's topic. Uh, see, entrepreneurship as a definition is the process of setting up a business with an idea and running the business to obtain a profit is known as entrepreneurship. 
Okay. Entrepreneurs are the people who start the business, administrate, administrate the business and make a profit out of it. So if you are, uh, you have an idea. Okay. If you, that idea, if you are using that idea to earn money, then you can be called as an entrepreneur. Uh, entrepreneur. Okay. And, and that profession will be known as the entrepreneur. Okay, uh, there are lots of definitions of entrepreneurship, but main four types of entrepreneurship you will come across in uh, your locality or in your if you are going in this field. So, a small business entrepreneurship is a is the idea of opening a business without turning into a large organization, opening many chain. Like for example, a, a single location restaurant, a grocery shop, a retail shop to sell homemade goods, which would be an example of small uh, small scale. Entrepreneurship. These individuals usually invest their own money, succeed if their business runs a profit, which they live off. And they do not have outside investors and will make uh, will only take a loan. It help it, it helps continue the business. Like somebody started to uh, let us suppose a boiler farm. In the small uh, case they started. Then after that they realize that their demand is uh, higher, so they need to supply more. So if they want to make the bigger firm, they may take the loan. The government is also going to be giving this type of loan or uh, some uh, schemes are there where you can get this type of loans and to do the small uh, business is the entrepreneurship. Then second category is a scalable startup. Uh, these are the companies that start with unique idea. The hope is to innovate with the unique product or service and continue growing the company, continually scaling up as the time moves. There is generally this type of private limited company. We are, we are in this category now, scalable industry, scalable startup. So if you, the private limited company, if you are a private limited company, you are eligible for seeking the fund grants. So and also for the incubation purpose, you will be required to register yourself as a private limited company. Actually, then uh, 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 along with that, that you have to uh, apply for the GST, your GST number. So this is required for billing. Then large company, large company are these are big companies which are already established and they uh, Tata generally they were steel company initially. They were building uh, cars. Then after that, they have expanded to power, then Tata Motors, Tata Consultancy Services, like then in different field they are opting. So these are the large company entrepreneurship. Then comes the social entrepreneurship, the NGOs. The goal of the social entrepreneurship is to create a benefit to the society and humankind. They focus on helping communities uh, or the environment through their product and services. They are not driven by profit, but rather by helping the world around them. So for the NGOs, there are lots of schemes that they are we can, where you can uh, sustain yourself also. But uh, that is not uh, that much uh, profitable as the scalable startup. So you have to just I am highlighting the names. You have to uh, dig deeper before you start your business. Then key challenges for a entrepreneur. So key challenges. Uh, these are some of the points I, uh, which I will be discussing in details. So in short, I want to say here the self assessment. Before you are going to be an entrepreneur, you have to uh, check yourself first. Self assessment is much important uh, because uh, after completing your graduation, if you are going for, for entrepreneurship, it is not that you will immediately earn a lots of money and uh, buy a car or you may start to build your own house because uh, when a person is uh, after graduating, when a person is going to get a job after one month, he will get the salary. So from that salary, obviously he will uh, uh, fulfill his uh, requirements like buying a mobile phone or what are the requirements like buying a bike or this type of uh, small first salary what uh, people is expecting. But when you are entrepreneurship, so you have to wait. Because in the first one, you is not like you will earn immediately the 60,000, 70,000 like that. So there is a difference. So you have to be mentally prepared. So it is like you are sowing some seed or you are seedling and you, are, you have to wait till it grows to the big tree and give you fruit. So same, this field is like that only. Then physical, uh, physical is physical strength because uh, uh, 
we thought uh, generally most people think that if we were, we are having uh, our own company or own shop uh, we can we can be our own boss we can anytime we can uh, if you are not feeling well we can close our shop or uh, as per means there will be no boss to uh, scold us or guide us or command us that you do this or do that you are, if you are willing to do something but uh, your boss is saying that no you do like that so those type of independency you will get it. but uh, if you are actually in entrepreneurship you have to be physically fit always because once you have given committed commitment to somebody to deliver some product so uh, if you are not able to give that in time your reliability level goes down so like that happens after getting one or two products they will say that no they are uh, not giving in time or the money they are charging differently so like that issues come so you have to physically fit always so if you are having uh, disease also you have to be uh, confident that uh, you will not waste time in uh, recovering so you have to fast recovery those are the <laughs> small small requirements that's it then financial and family financial is financially required because initially you will be depending on your family or friends for the pocket money or that uh, investment that investment is secured so either you have to be from very good family where your father and mother is still earning and they can uh, at least six months or one year they can uh, help you with the money then uh, it is uh, uh, very convenient to go in the entrepreneurship field then uh, family family is like you don't know when your uh, fruit uh, plant will grow and give you fruit so your age limit age limit also a crucial factor your family will after one age your family will be as for getting married or get settled or uh, give time to your mother and father those uh, those are the expectations are there so how they are what are the expectations that also you have to know before you go in this field okay if you are your both parents are very forcing you to go for the job so either try to convince them or try seeking the job or do the higher studies not don't uh, i'm suggesting like uh, don't just uh, jump into the entrepreneurship after completing the btech at least do the mtech if you are going for a phd it is good if you are thinking that you will you, you will may start your own company at least go to the mtech or mba that master degree will help you you act as a backup so if something happens if your uh, partner got uh, engaged in some other job so if you are left alone at the time also with that uh, certificate you can go for higher study or some uh, colleges you can join as a faculty to till you recover so uh, those are some of the important points before where uh, which you have to assess first okay then uh, one more point come deciding your core team who will be in your team so like i will show you so these are the some then creating timeline and deadline the timeline is the most important thing so if you are not putting your if you are not putting yourself in some timeline you will say okay no problem i am not feeling well today i will do it tomorrow like the tomorrow 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 ultimately the whole project cycle becomes very longer so you have to make your deadline and timeline as per your convenience then discuss your in graphic language i will show you what type of uh, graphics language what is graphics language and what are requirements for in this field then standard survey for raw materials and workshops and procurement of procurement and uh, workshops workplace setup then defines differentiating model and prototype uh, many people Maybe most people know that what is a defined model, but still I will give some example and try to fix in your mind such that you do not confuse while you are going to the industry. You do not confuse means what product, what output do you want from them? So what are the means how model is prepared and uh, what purpose model serves and what prototypes uh, are how prototypes are defined from the model? Those uh, I will keep. Uh, so you then uh, uh, a common prototyping technique the 3d printing uh, some three types of 3d printings are there so that uh, i will show you in 
sort. Then two products, uh, I will show you how we have uh, converted from design to manufacturing. Only two examples I will show you here, which are not under this uh, non-disclosure agreement. So that we can show you here. Uh, now comes the when you are uh, starting a project, what output you want? See, uh, output are different. If you are, if you need a simulation result or mathematical model, so that approach will be different. If you need a app or software base, or if you are like uh, uh, Uber, Ola, or that Zomato, this type of app you want to develop, so that's that that approach will be different, and the person whom you have to approach, those will be different. Then if if your final output is a model, if the final output is a full scale prototype, this approach, all approach, all the outputs, you have a different path. Okay. So as a either result of mass production, if you are if you are going to make multiple, you are going approaching an industry. So you have to clearly say them you want that prototype as a single product only, or you want to do the mass scale of this product. So as part of that, the industry has to think and it will give you that product. Okay, such that uh, you can uh, make uh, with the low cost, you can make the multiple part of this. Because uh, that point is important because if you want single product, it can be made with like uh, spare part from the old TV or fan, like uh, we are taking some coil or some electronic component from the uh, old fan or TV or any oven inverter like that from those things one product can be made but when you want to make multiple suppose, uh, suppose you have made one product and showcased then you got 10 uh, 10 order 10 piece order so how will you if you were you have made that product from a old pen then you have to again go for finding the spare from the 10 old pen one pen was there in your home from that you made it but when you received the order uh, again that that will like time consuming and you become unsure. You will not have that confidence to take that 10 piece order because you don't know that uh, actually I will get that part from the uh, repair shop or not. Like that, that we, if you are going for the mass scale production prototype, so that the process is also different. And if you are going to publish that in the journal or conference, if you're publishing, so that the process because if you are publishing in the journal or paper, it will affect in patent filing. So how it affects, I will tell you in uh, subsequent slide. See, the first point, the core team and associate. See, in the core team, generally the founder, co-founder and directors will be there. So if you are, uh, your project is a prototyping project, if you want to make one prototype first, working model, if I, I want to solve one problem, you are making one prototype such that you can uh, go to the competitions or some funding agency to get the dead angel investors or there are small uh, concept values of funding. Generally, lots of uh, funding agency are there that is tech, is tech, I think, yeah. So they are providing to validate your concept, they are providing two lakhs. So if you are presenting properly that I want to, I am having confidence in building this array, these are the surveys we have made. So, uh, I want to validate my concept, so I want some money. So like that segments are there, 2 lakhs, 5 lakhs, 10 lakhs, 25 lakhs, those have a segment there. So as part of that, you can approach the investors or funding agencies uh, from where you can get uh, your uh, fundings to validate your concept or making the multiple product uh, or the fine product, tuning, tuning of the product for so that uh, fundings are there. So if, when you are making, you have to find what type of uh, support I'll be needing. If you are uh, for, if you want to do the commercial or something, then so you will need the uh, mentorship from the management people. Then from technical mentors will be required that if you are uh, some part or plastic part, if you are made, so you may need the 3D printer. 3D printers, either uh, 3D printing agencies are there. If you are giving them the file, in which format file, that also I will highlight here. So uh, if you are outsourcing, you can, uh, if you have money, you can buy a 3D printer of your own. So let's suppose lots of part 
you want to do the more iterations and uh, you have to calculate if you are uh, outsourcing the suppose you want to make the 10 piece so 10 piece what will the total cost is coming so that cost is if, you, if that cost is lower than the cost of a machine then it is better to outsource otherwise buy the machines and do the printing on your own as many like you want then uh, raw material sources like a tail shop online shop then scrap scraps means kabadi kabadi you can say here yeah. that uh, the scraps of the, those are required while doing the prototyping works then workshops workshops in the msme is also there then welding shops are there they are also helpful the nearby welding shop if you want to join to plate you don't have to buy the welding machine just go there give some 20 rupees or 50 rupees as per their charge they will just join so like that you can use the welding shop then your institute workshops are there so those uh, while you are in endography it is uh, good to start while you are in college because you get that uh, workshop facilities or free of cost if you are a student e, 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 let us suppose it is very sometime what happens the machine precise machine or the big machines are not available in some institute so they can come to the IITs or other institute where uh, those type of machineries are there. So as a student, if you are approaching, you will get the concession or suppose if the faculty can talk with the concerned uh, faculty of the workshop or the interns. So like that, you can get the manufacturing help from the institute only. So after you pass out, it is very difficult to again enter to an institute. After passing out, uh, if you are having good uh, terms with your college, then obviously they will help. But uh, that chances uh, decreases. If it is in 100%, it will decrease after you pass out. Okay. So yeah, after passing out, also you cannot. Uh, it is very get difficult to getting to the other higher institute because you uh, in your identity. Initially, when you are a student, you can say that I am coming from the Dot Com Bosco University. I want to make that part. So they will consider as a student as part that if the charge is there, they will charge as part that. But after uh, completing your graduation, you are coming out. If you are want to make a part, your identity will change. You cannot say that I am from Chandwar University after that. You have to be. You will be like common person, or you can say that uh, I am industry from uh, like individual, individual part. Or you can, if you are working some uh, factory or some industry, from there you can come as a that I am from coming from the industry. So that time. That gap when you are not having that uh, proper identity. At that time, it is difficult for approaching this type of workshops. So uh, I'd like to suggest all the students. So if you are having some plan, uh, do start from here also. If you are starting from here after passing out also, that trail will help you to uh, come back to your uh, workshop and continue work. Or obviously, your faculty will help. Or if you are engaging in master degree, then it is very nice. So you can continue that work. That. So here's a sample of a timeline. See, this is uh, it's just uh, some points. I am. So how a timeline is made? This type of format will be required when you are uh, approaching an industry. Uh, not industry. Uh, that funding, funding as I say, when you are going to present your uh, idea. At that time, one slide has should have. This type of uh, this type of uh, timeline, timeline, timeline slide. There you have to show clearly at how much, how many months you will need for doing your survey, get modeling, then surveying of raw material. It is not mandatory that you have to highlight all points. So uh, as per your convenience or your idea, you can uh, you can see lots of templates are there in online. As per it, you can make that uh, that uh, timeline. Okay, so this is a sample. Okay, then coming uh, is catching your idea. So I am going to be going fast. So if you want to uh, ask some questions, just uh, note down this. Uh, this slide number. So later on you can ask me and they can discuss and uh, you will have that uh, a question question hour. <laughs> at, the, at the time you can just mention me uh, which slide I want you want to see again so i will show you that okay. then comes the graphic language the graphic language is uh, 
four categories you can divide that free head sketching, then technical drawing, computer aided design, this is CAD drawing, then drafting. So free head sketching is when mean, mean, you do not have to worry about that it is not looking good or I have to make it with a colorful pencil or paint. So you have to, this free head sketch is required to communicate between your partners. So if some idea is coming, you have to learn how you, have, you can express your idea in drawing. So apart from a technical doing other brands, so mechanical students are uh, learning, but other brand students, uh, they have to at least uh, learn the basic how to do the sketching and how to is because uh, by hand or by get sir, you cannot express means how the parts will be assembled or which part will be what size. So those things for that uh, sketching is the best tool. Then uh, this technical drawing, technical drawing comes like one per isometric view. Uh, from that view, one can realize okay, part will look like this. Then top view, front view, side view, then back view. Is there as, as many views required to uh, make understand the person whom you want to manufacture? So this type of views, you got the technical drawing. Then the computer with a computer design, get get software, you can split this type of uh, you can make the exploded view. Exploded view drawing, I can show you how the parts will be assembled and uh, what are the parts inside. So this picture, this is a part, uh, is a model which we have manufactured. That picture is uh, in the last in the last slide. So this is the explosive, the how the things are there inside. So this is the complete project. <laughs> uh, see, in a computer, computer edit, uh, computer edit draft, and design. These are the software you can use. The Wi-Fi model. See, this is the Wi-Fi model where you can see uh, means other side, the hidden side also. You can see Wi-Fi model. These are the software which you can use. You can take the screenshot also if you want. Then uh, surface modeling software. Surface modeling software. The SolidWorks, Cinema 3D, KTA V5. This KTA V5. This type of software are used by the uh, automation industry to make the car body design, aerodynamic design, or then seat seat design, the ergonomic design, those type of uh, surface modeling softwares are there. This type of software I use, the Autodex Maya. So uh, if you get chance to learn, then solid model software are also there. So if you get chance to learn any of the software, uh, please learn. It will help in near future. Uh, apart from that, uh, these are the software you have to buy. Okay. So institutes are having the IIT is having solid work like uh, many institutes used by this type of solid software. So whatever is there. So if you are if you are having instructor to uh, teach that software, so try learning at least basics. Then apart from that, the online software are also there that uh, Tinkercad, Victory, uh, Mass Mass Mixer. These are online software you can see. Education. Here you can see the browser, browser. So in the browser, you can make the 3D model. In it will having definite tools for using that. You can make it just sample models such that you can uh, make understand the industrial is that uh, it will be like this. So what I want to manufacture is apart uh, instead of that uh, sketching. So this option is much better to interact with the and also go for in the funding agency. Also, you can make the 3D model in this uh, type of software and show them. So these are some CAD models and products that's what we have developed. So in the case studies, I will show you how this 3D model turned into a product. So this 3D model we have designed only. So we got the sketch and uh, just a list of ideas that it has the purposes, list of purposes. From that, we made that uh, 3D model and shown to the customer. Once they approve, we manufacture it. So these two machines. So this one working robot 3D model uh, was uh, made. So this uh, also this is a this product is also there in our lab. If you are coming to uh, someday, if you are coming to the mechanical department, I can show you this working robot. This is small. This must say with the uh, car wiper motor, uh, auto auto wiper motor. This was been made because these are small aluminium legs. Okay. This is from agriculture related product. So this is a product which we are we are we have filed patent. Then in the Springer also this was published. So this is for artificial muscle testing device. Universal as a different type of muscle can be tested 
but uh, how much it flex on pneumatic you know, pneumatic muscle pneumatic muscle can be tested in the in this device so this is one exploded view of a part okay uh, apart from that CAD design uh, normal sketching then this type of analysis is required sometime it is not mandatory just can kinematic this is this is the kinematic analysis which is uh, done in matlab matlab software okay so matlab software you can see how what is the part follower or you can change the dimension and if you are want to make some mechanism if there is interference or uh, some definite part you want to follow that you can uh, write the program in a matlab and do the plotting so type of kinematic and dynamic analysis is there you can dig deeper and see uh, as per your requirement, you can learn or you can team up with the person who learns, who uh, means who knows in this type of analysis. So here you can see uh, we have done the stress analysis and realize that okay, there is a chance of breaking in this area. So how the modification will be done? Those type of this type of uh, studies help in deciding and the failures and displacement and how much bending will be required. Uh, bending is coming. Those uh, analysis can be done with this software. Survey, survey for raw materials. See, survey for raw materials. These these things, what I am seeing, this is uh, after you enter uh, entrepreneur in the entrepreneurship, the gold phase when you will be growing. What are the support and what are the factors will be affecting your productivity? Those things I am saying here. So I am not categorized here like this is part for the entrepreneurship, that this for the growth or this part is a competitiveness. So what are the steps we will be uh, getting uh, in your path so that i am uh, uh, showing here okay. so survey for raw materials is when you are uh, going for manufacturing product you have to be aware of the raw materials which will be required to you and what are the sources okay. like junkyard then steel bar angles of in the uh, city that in Maliga also in Arga also if you are need in different uh, design or different shape or different quantity you can go for the that Arga Arga there is a lots of the steel soaps and aluminum soaps also there there you can go before manufacturing you can go there and like these are the photos I have clicked, clicked there there so because uh, while designing I may need to see the what are the standard sizes available or what shape I can find. So we, before then the surveying phase, if you are going there and at least uh, you cannot remember all the survey at the time. Just click the photo, ask the shopkeeper that I want to click the photo. I will make some design so such that I can know what are the things you have. So for that, I need that uh, picture. So they they will not uh, stop you. They will let them let will they will let you to take the pictures. So keep that picture, make one folder, and while you are designing, see. What are the shapes are available? Square, rectangular, or what? How much diameter? How much bigger? People need some pipe. So what up to how? What is the thickness? or what type of pipes are available? Then apart from the that soap, you will need the fastener, fastener soap that not well screw. So where those type of screws are available as per your convenience in the online shop also there you can search. So uh, then nearby workshop, then electrical parts shop. Then uh, after doing survey, make one list like uh, from bolt i will buy from the hardware shop a motor i will go for amazon or some other website then if they, if you need a small small section this type of pipes are coming in 20 feet 16 feet 12 feet like that so if you need the one meter or two feet then it is no need to buy the big feet go to the junkyard as per your dimension find there and bring it do the policing it is it will maybe rusting pieces maybe. do the with the emery paper clean the surface Ultimately, we'll get in the small cost. You will get your part. Okay. Uh, serving for the fabrication unit. Being so half hour time, I think. Okay. Then serving for the fabrication unit. Okay. So, uh, fabrication unit are nearest the workshops, the institute workshops, the MSME tool room, where you can uh, get the support of the lathe work, milling work. Then CNC machine are also they are having wire cut EDM. They are having and 3D modeling support also they can provide and they are providing the training also. So you can approach them or many industries are there if you are going in uh, that bypass room, the Guwahati bypass from the Boraga and Lokra. In those areas, lots of small small industries are there. If you want to do the some turning, approach the industries, 
and it's also factory. So there you can make your say if you want to make some group or some uh, facing or some turning work you want to do or some welding work. So lots of jobs are there. Do the survey. Take some time in surveying because when you are starting manufacturing, uh, it becomes very uh, awkward to uh, go in between and uh, ask in different places. So that's why I asked you to make the timeline. If you are giving one month or one and a half month for the serving, utilize that time for serving. In the meantime, you can like, OK, this idea is coming. I will start manufacturing from the no. Control your emotions and just if you were planning that one month, I will invest in serving, do the serving part. That will help you in later phases. Okay. Then nearest welding shop I mentioned. Then 3D printing station. Then you need to be precise machine like CNC that I told. That casting and molding centers. Some casting and molding centers you may require sometimes. So that also check you give if you need help from us. Just let us know. So we know certain places where you can do the casting aluminum steel. Then to the type of uh, normal mild steel or cast iron. Those type of casting sometimes requires. So that. For that if you are not uh, able to find just contact us so i will give my contact number in the last slide so take that contact and later on if it help in any sectors what i am uh, showing here so just a process or mail us or call us so no no issue okay. then uh, see these type of welding machines are readily available nowadays in the market but from our experience and from the welding uh, stations what we have learned, so uh, they suggest to not use this type of machine in your normal home plant, normal uh, power sockets, the home power sockets, you know. So it is, it is running into 30 volt. It is okay, but when, what happens? It is uh, instantly drawing high current while you do the first spot. So at that time, what happens? There are meter, water meter we install for home purpose. So those meters are not, may not be equipped with. Uh, uh, drawing uh, equipped for drawing this mass of current. So if the motor somehow uh, meter somehow tips, if it jumps to some other higher value, the electrical department will not hear any excuse. So they will directly charge for the values with initial value and final value. They will derive whatever the value is coming. They will directly make the bill and uh, make you to pay. You cannot say that I use this. This made the tripping. So these are the not excuses what because these are for the industrial purpose. Actually, like uh, three phase line or some higher voltage because this uh, is uh, our home meters are for small small like maximum you can put the geyser or the oven, but uh, this type of machinery use uh, this is risky. So ask uh, means think twice more than twice for uh, using this type of machine in your home. Then buying tool and equipments. Uh, tools and equipment. These are the, some of the basic equipments which might help you in uh, which uh, we can afford with your small budget and uh, which will help you in achieving your prototyping projects. See, uh, instrument, vernier is a must because for precise machining or drilling holes or marking, uh, if you are if you are investing on vernier. Now initially, if you are going to buy the Mitutoy, it will cost around 10,000 or now it is, uh, it is coming in 4,000, so 3,000 or 4,000 with the Varniers are coming. Diesel Varnier, manual Varnier. So try to learn, while in engineering, try to learn how to use the Varnier, Varnier and screw goes. That is our expectation also. When student is coming, when I am, we are asking, let's suppose uh, in the online also, if we are asking that, uh, okay, this machine is there in your place, you cannot bring that machine. Just with the vernier, let me know the exact dimension or let me know that uh, where the hole is pressed. So at that time, at least you have to know that the use of the vernier and let us know that OK, this is the dimension. So we have to be also confident that what dimension he told is correct and as part it will make. So later on, if they not get messed there, so ultimately this is the loss of time and money. Then vernier and steel are measuring tape is also required than set square. Set square for doing that uh, perpendicular lines. This is sky square. So this is required then protector is also required. This type of protector you can find online where you can in different angle do the cuttings for the cutting or marking. You can use this type of protector. Okay. This is called third eye, third eye soldering station. Third eye means uh, or oh, third hand. Sorry, third eye not third hand. You can uh, fix your circuit board here 
and with the magnifying glass you can do the minus soldering. So this is a uh, high cost soldering station where you can do uh, small small soldering as well as uh, the removing of the soldering panel with this heat gun. So it is costing around five thousand. Yeah, maybe. So the cost may vary. You can check online and buy and do the study. In defiant buyers, you can find the product, but you have to be uh, very uh, careful while buying those things. Okay. You just do not jump to the low cost things. You see why if somebody some part uh, some machine is giving you 2000, somebody is giving you 5000, 8000. So try to see the difference. Why 8000 machine somebody can sell in 2000 machine? So obviously there will be difference. If, if uh, that machine can be manufacturing to sell in 2000, so obviously that industry would not have made which would cost 8000. Okay, like that some mindset you fix and while searching uh, to have that approach. Okay. This is a grinding machine, so it is uh, coming out 5000 to 8000. This is also helping the small, small grinding. This is an angle grinder, angle grinder machine. You can do the cutting and grinding also. The metal, for metal work, you can, but uh, this machine, uh, you have to be skillful while operating. It is running around 11,000 RPM. So you have to be very careful. I got uh, cut one time, so so this is unfortunate. Sometimes that blade may blade may break. You have to be you do you see uh, when you are going to industry, you may see people are using without that guard. If you are buying that machine, do not remove that guard. You don't know when the blade break and it will hit you, hit your eyes because 11,000 RPM when this uh, that chips coming out, it will penetrate your skin. Okay. So this machine is risky. So if you get chance to learn in undergraduate level, try learning after that. You, when you are confident, then buy your own. This is a drilling machine, you know. So this is a bench vice, which is also very required if you are having this type of machine to do the operation. Here I want to show you why tool selection is important. So this is a small example. Uh, this is a drill delta drill I will show you. Uh, see a person A and person B. Two person, let us suppose they wanted to uh, start their meat selling shop. So they realized that uh, uh, selling in live chicken or uh, let's suppose let's go for chicken. So selling live chicken is less profitable than cutting it. So they decided, okay, I will uh, open a meat shop. So I will cut the chicken and sell. So person A, uh, suppose he do not have that much money, so he made one small shop. Then person B made a big shop. He was, he was having lots of money, so he wanted to be a big shop so that people see the shop and get uh, attracted to it to buy it. So they say, okay, this will be very hygienic, or this will be this must have a good uh, meat product. This my way I can get the variety also. So like that, he invested in making the bigger one. So uh, after that, uh, what did it? So he, this is just an example. So he's not that, uh, this is the definite part. I'm showing example where the person can make mistake. For that, I'm just showing this example. So he bought the wood cutting block. You can see when you are going the meat shop, in some shop when you, you can see, after cutting that wood chips are uh, coming out from that uh, wooden block and mixing with that meat. So. When that wood block is mixing, it is very difficult to uh, extract that wood block from the. It means uh, what happens if you, it is meat becomes dirtier or wood chips are coming, the people get disheartened. Eh? Okay, it uh, again it will uh, they have to mix all thing with the chip, so I have to remove it and it is taking me much time. But uh, see here, to these are the pictures I have taken from Amazon. Okay, just for example. This wood block they are selling in 979. This wood block they are selling in 1428. So this price difference, there must be something due to which that price difference came. So this person they bought where the wood chips is not coming out. This is a very good quality wood. If you are cutting with the force, it is cutting the meat but not cutting the wood. So uh, he is get he can provide the clean meat to the customer. Okay, but uh, the person who uh, after investing in, so he realized that the lots of money has been invested. In, so I will buy a cheap quality wood piece and let's run. Start so when the 
meat is mixed with the wood chip. Ultimate husband, the person will uh, the person, the customer, the customer will be decreased. Obviously, because uh, the main factor was the clean meat. So this was the expectation. But when customer is uh, not getting as per their expectation, obviously they they will stop visiting their shops and uh, the shop uh, who is were giving the quality because here the clean meat was the prime output. So when this failed, this will somehow the customer will reduce and so after some time it will be closed. So but uh, they're providing it. So here the identifying, I mean to say that identifying the output. If you were uh, giving, if you want to give a quality product, you have to invest in quality tools. Okay. So do not uh, cost cutting. Cost cutting is good, but try to differentiate where you have to cut cost and where you have to actually invest the money to uh, buy that tool. Here you can see that I have shown here three drilling equipments. Here's the manual drilling. If it is price is X, you can do the drilling work there, but uh, to increase the productivity and save the time to you can buy. But ultimately what happens if it is coming in the X, uh, uh, price X price, then it will be its cost will be like four X. Then this type of also other drilling equipments are there, which can use as a screwdriver as well as it is battery operated. You can use it anywhere where uh, no electricity is there. You charge the battery and use anywhere. But ultimately, whatever the cost is higher. So where you have to invest and where you can invest, those are the important points you will, which you have to uh, keep in mind. Then uh, workplace workplace uh, setting. Uh, for uh, for your workplace, you have to make a workbench. Okay, proper workbench is required. Then put the as per your requirement, put the bench bias uh, for whatever the bias is required as per your work. So that uh, that you have to put there. Then proper electrical supply, proper ventilation. These are the prime requirements of your workplace if you are sitting. So this is a small workplace we set up in IIT Guwahati. So we used to operate and after that uh, we expanded. I have a we have expanded to other industry uh, big uh, platform and with the uh, bigger machineries where you can do big work. So these are the small machineries which has been uh, developed in this workplace. Uh, buying parts. slide then bike and fabric see uh, there are some factors like uh, uh, well you want to buy some part uh, try to study the catalogs catalog and side chart before going to the market because if you are asking them uh, some uncommon sizes it may not be there on they may not be want to show you so uh, you see this type of uh, this type of standard catalogs are there if you are going to buy the bearing just see this number. You can see in the 6900. You see the number and combine name that ACH 6900 being relevant. Directly they will give it. So if you are taking time next that I want the bore diameter of 10 mm, the outside diameter, I am not sure. Like uh, I will need to how show me what are the bearing you are having. So that is uh, time consuming and may, they may not be interested in showing you their bearing stock and those things. So refer to the catalogs and directly is if they it is having some standard name, identify the name and go and ask them. Okay. Then this is the difference between model and prototype. A model does not actually work. Okay. But prototype is a working model. These are these are the examples. The uh, models. Model you can do it by 3D printing or normal that wood, plywood, thermocol. This you can make. Thus you can show that my product will look like this or this will be the size of my product. But the prototypes, prototypes will be actual working models which you have to be used for doing the demonstration uh, to the if you are going for the uh, suppose in the competition or um, the suppose the funding agency. And so many it is going if you are going for the incubation or those things. So in those areas, you may have to show the working prototype. So prototypes are generally costly or uh, it has to be made with actual product. That means uh, actual material which, with which that product has to be made. 
So it's like maybe same material as the product. So it will be expensive to the men. It will be expensive to manufacture. Okay, one day is complete interior and exterior. Models only having the exterior. Yeah. Then model, uh, these are the common materials which you can use for to uh, uh, make your model and prototype the acrylic or prospects. You think it's transparent or opaque also you can find in wood, easy plastic, easy plastic, ABS, Teflon, nylon. A special prototype works are there which, with which you can make the mold or in shape. Then FRP, aluminum, iron, steel, brass, copper, stainless steel. So these are the materials you can use for doing the prototyping. Then comes the 3D printing. Okay, 3D printing. You, well, if you want to make the 3D printing, you can. You will come across these three type of 3D printing techniques: fuse deposition molding (FDM) in short, then selective laser sintering (SLS), then SLA (stereolithography apparatus). So this is fuse deposition molding. So with that, uh, adding thermoplastic material layer by layer with the heater nozzle. So these are the very low cost. Uh, this is the lowest cost uh, material. Uh, this is the lowest cost machinery which is uh, available in the market, which is with which we can make the 3D model. So uh, see these type of layers are there. So uh, if you are making it higher density, you can get this type of product. This is made with the FDM. So after doing the sanding and post processing or after painting, it will look like this. Okay. So with the it is not that you have to make every plastic with that molding or some uh, thermoforming like that. You can Pin the entity and do the proper policing and do the painting. It will look like the actual uh, cast uh, casted product. So then uh, here is the difference between you FDM painting. You, you will come across mainly the PLA and ABS material. So you can see here the density PLA. PLA is not giving that much of fine surface finish. We lots of post processing required to uh, uh, made uh, make part in PLA. So if you are making in ABS, you can get a much smaller, uh, smoother surface. Okay. PLA is biodegradable. If you are making something which you do not want to uh, degrade, you would you have to go for that ABS. Okay. Then overhanging features, the common 3D printing material defense, the self-supported structure, the overhanging features. Mm. Okay, he, this is this is this name is given for. Uh, like how the painting is done. Okay, it, it is like uh, if you are making this type of thing. So the car part when will be painting, it will be supported with the same material. So when it is removing, you will get marking of the marking. So you have to do the post processing. But uh, ABS, it is facility of some uh, material which uh, which is giving as a, acting as a support material. But when you are uh, washing it with water, it will go out. So you will get a small uh, surface finish. So this is in short in ABS uh, property of this uh, uh, PLA and ABS. Okay. These are the machines. So in the institutes, uh, lots of institute, uh, this machine are available. This type of FDM. So these are some of the 3D printing parts we used to make in uh, a long time back. So now it is uh, as per the requirement we used to make the sometime. Uh, sometime we used to make the 3D printing. So we are not uh, directly providing the 3D printing service. If we are developing some product in between, if you are supposed it required the 3D printing, then we use to provide. Okay. Uh, then selective laser sintering. Selective laser sintering. This is a high cost machine. So it is actually this laser hardened, uh, laser hardened powder plastic material into a solid strata based on 3D model. So with the laser, it is in uh, powder actually. So with the as per the 3D model, the laser will be put and it will be hardened. So we can get this type of structure. Okay. So if you need very uh, transparent type or very uh, mold, uh, casting, uh, yeah, like which is uh, made with that uh, let's say injection molding. In the injection molding, how the product is made with the mold, uh, it is pressed with the smooth plastic, so we can get a small, very uh, smooth surface finish. So those output, if you need, you have to go for the SLA, but the uh, cost is higher. So it, depending on the uh, part size, you, you can put the coat. So how you can put the coat? But see here is that there is a difference. If you are printing FDM, this will be the surface finish. If you are putting in SLA, this will be the surface finish. This is SLS. So for it uh, comparative, I have given. So this is FDM 200 M. 200 M is micron. 
Okay, how much wire diameter with how much wire diameter you want to print that you have to also mention. So in what uh, what type of finish when you are approaching one uh, outsourcing the 3D printing, they will ask for uh, what in what micron size you want to do the printing. So if you are uh, asking they are 10 micron, the charge will be defined and finishing will be much smoother. If 200 micron, uh, somebody is providing in 150 micron also. That's uh, that uh, that age and the surface finish. Okay, so once it is manufactured, that uh, is not that after do, done the 3D printing in FDM, you can directly use the product. You have to do some uh, support removal, then sending, and do if you, some part wires are coming out, you have to uh, either with Fabric or acetone, you have to fix that uh, wires and uh, do the policing. See, this is the picture of the 3D modeling, online 3D modeling sector. This type of tools are there without uh, by using this type of tools you can make your uh, plan you can so make the 3d model and show the plan to your uh, maybe client or the funding agency so uh, while uh, deciding that the uh, software you try to see what type of file format this type of software can save because this stl file or uh, stp file this format is required to do the 3d binning if you are opening any 3D printing website, you will come across this type of window where you can upload your 3D model. They are giving it. See here they are showing you support over 35 files for me, including STL, OBJ, then step zip file. Zip files, zip files are 3D model files. So if you do not want to give all the 3D model file, just give it in step format or STL format. So before that, you have to know when you are making after making the 3D model, you realize that oh, it cannot save in a steel file. So ultimately your effort become uh, waste. So before choosing, try see if it can save in a steel or not. Then coming to the case study part, these are the two products with what we have developed. So uh, you can see here, uh, this is the 3D model, which we managed at first. So after that, it was welded. Then here main the crucial part was uh, fixing a meter that uh, dialing goes dial goes to this uh, jack because they wanted to measure the pressure while uh, it was molding. It was a molding setup actually. So here they used to put the mold. Uh, it was having the heating plate so that the electronic was uh, installed to monitor. So you let us suppose they want to do the molding at 200 degrees Celsius. So here we have uh, do put the heater and sensor such that it can maintain the 200 degree temperature and once it is pressed they can monitor at what pressure this mold has been made so here they came across the sheet metal that goes fitting to welding work then anti rusting coating how to do the painting coating those is also required then some electronic work like that this type of uh, uh, field were involved in that to work and this is the polishing machine where uh, it was made uh, uh, with the aluminum extrusion. These are the aluminum parts which are nowadays available in the market. So if you are not sure about the size, you can uh, buy this type of uh, slotted aluminum links and make your part. Uh, it, it is easier to change the dimension. If you are, if you want to make some sliding system, so there are still rods are there, the supports are there where you can use uh, this type of uh, linear bearings to do the to do to solve your purpose. Some uh, on-off switch, then these are the standard parts which are available. So here, this picture I am showing you didn't. It is not that when you are planning to build a machine, it is not that you have to buy or you have to manufacture every part. There are already spare parts available in the market. Just do the survey of the spare part and buy them initially. So take the dimension, make the 3D model, and after that you start building the part like. So this is the uh, policing machine which we found like okay this is handheld but uh, the purpose was to make a fixed step so that only here the machine is moving the sample is stationary but the uh, requirement was the sample will be stationary that belt will be moving so they that because uh, if we do the hand policing there is a chance of some here we let's suppose we press more so it more worrying were there and some particular so uh, to with that objective, we have built that machine. So we order from the mechanical department actually. So this machine is in mechanical department. So sample policing was doing better student. Uh, few additional tips. 
think I have finished my time. <laughs> okay, these two slides are there only. Ankur, uh, I think I can continue, no? That's five minutes. Yes, sure. yes, sure. yes, yes, sure. yes. Okay, okay. Then uh, assembling tips here, some tips like uh, you may come across online this type of uh, drilling bits. Uh, this help in enlarging your dips because uh, before you get get your perfection, you are making four holes. Let's suppose three holes are you want to assemble one part. Let us suppose this type of block you want to assemble to a plate. This is having four holes. So three hole, let us suppose three hole you align somehow marking good uh, by good marking you place, but other hole it was not fixing. So let us suppose it somehow is shifted. So it is not coming to the uh, exactly aligning with that hole. So at that time you can make. Uh, you can keep this type of drilling bit. It is having in steps. Uh, you can. Uh, four, five, six, like that also you can get, or in multiples of uh, even four, six, eight, 10, 12, like that up to 32 mm with a simple drilling machine, what type of picture, uh, what picture, so you know that hand drill, and also in the bench drill where you can, you cannot put 32 mm drill bit. In those areas, this type of drill bit will help you to drill. This is for a small seat purpose or plastic or wood, uh, but a small uh, less thickness, uh, plastic seat you can do uh, the drilling and enlarging or doing the shifting work. Let's suppose say 5 mm it is not aligning. So make it to 6 mm or 8 mm. The hole will be bigger. Automatically there's your bolt will be aligned and you can be, you will be able to fix it. Okay, it's more high or this type of physical. And also uh, if you are making some structural type of thing, no, uh, try to identify a flat surface. If the surface is uneven, what you are making, there, if you are going to the other flat here, it will be dancing. Okay, to avoid that, try to identify a flat surface anywhere. Any table you check with the uh, that leveling goes that this surface is flat or not. So once you are having a flat surface, it is very good to uh, verify your uh, system is placing properly or not. Because when you are going for the demonstration, if it is dancing, it gives it gives means a bad impression. The flat surface. Here. Then field trial, field trial means uh, uh, it happens mainly because when you are making one product, you will, it is feeling like uh, I have made this product very carefully, so I do not want to do the, some destructive testing or the user testing or that. So uh, try to the maximum limit. If you are making a toy type of thing, try it fully. Because uh, industry and funding agency will test like you your product like that. If you are showing one type, uh, one toy type of thing, they will directly put an fail underground. Uh, it will allow you to fall underground. If it is breaking, you are directly dismissed because toy will be played by the child and they will throw. So if it cannot take the impact, it is not fulfilling its own its purpose. So like that means in which category you are making to do the field trial. Do not worry if it breaks. To repairing, or from that only you will be knowing that to what problem it might come. Okay. Then patent filing. In short, I can say that patent filing work is defined from the uh, journal or conference publication. It is the long term because uh, once you you can if your idea is coming to protect it, you can do the filing. But to get the uh, grant, it will take almost uh, two to three years. If one year you will get to verify. Once you have file, you will get a patent application number. With the patent application number, it is uh, you are saved that okay, I have patent. So to prove that what your idea is to prove the idea, you will get one year. Okay, from the filing date, you will get one. Within one year, you have to file your complete patent and show your claims. What the, the, what you want to file? This patent help in two ways. If you are making one product, so to recognize you as that, okay, I am the first one who built this. If you, if somebody finds it beneficial, you, they can buy from you and do some percentage and like that you can earn money. And also to protect you from uh, getting uh, file uh, case from others. Like, let's suppose you build something. So you have not done patenting. Somebody copied your idea and uh, suppose you build something and it started selling. Suppose, uh, let's suppose five, six product you have already sold. So some industry might have find it uh, 
they with your uh, with your career he patented and later on he can uh, put case on you that you have copied idea from him and you are selling this product so at that time you will not have any other way to defend your that the i, I have only made that first and on you have copied it so for that protection this patent helps okay so more details you can find in patentindia.com website so uh, generally for doing the patent 50 to 70,000 is required as per the uh, depending on that uh, patent professional how much they charge. Uh, then for the mass production, uh, for the mass production and TOD technology, you can seek help from the incubation center like TIC, Tiguati, Assam Startup, the Nest. Uh, uh, this type of incubation, lots of uh, incubation facilities are there nowadays. So in uh, institutes, uh, in institutes are opening that incubation cell. So it is very good, and I think uh, this will help in uh, pushing the student in the field of entrepreneurship in the future. So and uh, if you want to start your private limited company, uh, make good partnership with, with and gather the people. Uh, generally, that in our time. M, it was taking like 15,000 for uh, registering it. Registering the private limited company. Okay, you have to open your bank account. So and the uh, pen card you will receive. Like that some uh, uh, formalities are there. So once you uh, uh, once you go into the field, you will come, you will know what are the next steps. So if you find, if you are stuck in any area or you are not finding reliable sources, so just contact us, so we can help you definitely. So for marketing, you can uh, consult your marketing specialist or better to hire with uh, people with marketing experience. So we do not have to, like I have to do the MBA, then only I will be able to run the uh, business. So it is not 100% correct, it's good. But uh, the professionals are there. You can, if you have money, you can hire them and do the work for you. So uh, uh, coming to the last slide, this is some snapshot of our training activities where we have provided some electronic kit and uh, this uh, workshop was held in IIT Guwahati from uh, lots of uh, uh, what say government and semi-government institute faculties uh, came and. Uh, hands on training we have provided. So these are uh, 13 days long works of us there. So two days uh, we have taken for hand on training. So we did kit how to integrate uh, uh, sensors to Arduino or how to do the motor control basic things we have uh, taught them. So this was very nice session we have experienced. And in uh, AEC also we have given that hands on training. So after that, uh, that Corona came, then uh, we have uh, shifted to online training. So offline training has not resumed yet. So let's hope so we'll be resuming again. This. So thank you. So this is uh, these are some of the picture models and uh, projects. So this is the product what exploded view and that exploded picture you have shown, you know. So this is the product which has been developed. So this is the policing machine actually. We have done nickeling. The nickeling centers, nickeling is done to the that bike silencer, then bike oil tanks, so that uh, where you cannot do the painting. Bike silencer, you do not cannot do the painting because uh, when it is cold, it, it is metallic because it, it as it is metallic, it is chance of getting rusted. But uh, when uh, if you are painting, when it is heat up, the paint will go out. So in those areas, you can do the nickeling. The nickeling centers are there in Guwahati. If you need somehow some sometime uh, someday if you need any help in this type of support, so we can provide you then. So thank you. This is my contact number and email address. You can note down and contact me uh, for any further help. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for sharing your expertise. It was very informative, very session. informative session. So if anyone have any question, you can ask or raise your hand. Raise your hand. You can unmute your unmute mic your and ask my question. I think no one is having any doubt. No one is having any doubt. So now I would like to invite the winner of IIC, Mr. Ankur Goswami, for summarize the session. Over to you, sir.
ओके इज माय वॉइस ऑडिबल यस 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 ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक आवर टू दिस स्पीकर मिस्टर अरुण ज्योति बरगोहाई फॉर एक्सप्लेनिंग इन सच ए वेरी वेल मैनर अबाउट वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप he has very nicely explained how an entrepreneur can change a challenge to opportunity it was a challenge for him when there was lack of raw materials to collect difficulty in collecting raw materials during covid time but he turned it to an opportunity he built his own robot and which he has uh, for which he, can, he could share the same stage with the chief minister of assam also so congratulations to him and uh, thank you thank you so It's a proud moment for the institution's Innovation Council, Don Bosco College of Engineering and Technology, to conduct the second session of Impact Lecture Series today, that is on 13 June 2022, and share with the participants about the entrepreneurship, growth, and competitiveness. The broader theme for this session was entrepreneurship. The today's Impact Lecture Session, conducted by Mr. Runjiti Borgohai, very beautifully demonstrated the audience about entrepreneurship. The graphic language. distinction between a model and a prototype the present day gap between academia and industry and about his own entrepreneurial journey the impact lecture series are an unique idea of ministry of education innovation cell aicte to create awareness in the fields of innovation entrepreneurship startups ipr etc today's impact lecture is an eye opener regarding the opportunities and growth drivers of startups in india The session was extremely beneficial to the student community as the speaker Mr Borgohai has very well explained about the different types of entrepreneurships. The faculties who have attended the session are also benefited as in the present day teachers to play an important role in the entrepreneurial ecosystem so as to motivate the young minds to innovate and to encourage and handhold the budding entrepreneurs and likewise the entire community of our university is benefited by such sessions. I would like to provide my sincere thanks to Ministry of Education's Innovation Cell (AICTE), which is led by Dr. Abhay Jare, for their immense contribution, financially and morally, in, conduct, in conducting the today's session. I would like to provide my sincere thanks to Honorable Vice Chancellor of our University, Father Stephen Mavli, Pro Vice Chancellor Father Joseph Nalanath, Principal Dr. Manoranjan Kalita, Registrar Father Johnny Jose, and President IIC Dr. Ujjal Sharma. I acknowledge the support received from my colleagues Mr Gitartha Kolita Dr Minal Kanti Sen Mr Bikas Agarwal Mr Sudeep Kalita and others in successfully conducting the session last but not the least my heartfelt gratitude and thanks to the speaker Mr Arunjuti Borgohai for sparing his time we are looking forward to more such interactive sessions thank you and with this i would like to conclude the uh, the summarizing uh, of today's uh, session thank you again thank you ankur sir for the summarization much. dear all participants thank now we came to the end of our first half of the session so there will be uh, a break of 20 minutes please try to log in at 11:25 am so that you can start your next lecture by 11:30 thank you all thank you okay bye okay sir.